Hello and greetings everyone. Welcome to another wonderful day of StarCraft 2 Heart of the Storm brought to you by Ascended. Production tab will not be up very long. Why is that? Because this, this is a 4v4 mono battles, which I have not cast for quite a while. Looks like everybody's picking their player right now. Zub Zero is going to be Marine. Powie is going to be Marauder. And they're all continuing to pick. So let's go and introduce the two teams before shit hits the fan. North team, it's going to be from Clan SG Aussie, is my guess. AUS. It's going to be Russell Jimmy's, the Pink Protoss. We're going to have SG Aus. Okay. He's going to be Jano. And then we got XSCL Clan. It's going to be Ace of Diamond as our Black Terran. I like the color black. That's good. And from Clan, where's the mayonnaise? It's going to be Miller Death, the Purple Terran. Terran. Zerg. On the South team, we're going to have the Human Blob. He's going to be our Pink Protoss. Powie, Teal Terran. Starret, Red Protoss, and Sub Zero as our Miller Death, uh, as our Blue Terran. Miller Death has picked the Mutalist as he's the one person that we do know for sure. So let's see how it goes. I haven't cast Mono Battles in a while. Um, honestly, the last one I cast probably was I was involved in, and I had Siege Tanks. I remember that. Ended up being in one of the uh, cinematics that I created. But nevertheless, here we are. Honestly, I didn't even take a look at how long this game was, so it could be 10 minutes, could be 40 minutes. Hell if I know. Um, I think Miller Death... What's that sound? It sounds like, you know, like a timing attack, you know, like shit like that. What's this neck? Oh, okay. I know somebody went Templar. Is there any way for me to find out? Okay, so the human blob just now picks Stalker. Here's what we got going on. Remember, so everybody can only build one specific unit. Um, Ghost from Ace of Diamond. That's going to be our black player back here. And Jono is going to be the Immortal, which is going to be right here. So we're going to have some air and ground. What did Pink pick? Can I pick? Can I see yet? I don't think I can. I mean, there's no button that's really going to give me that. i got to just kind of wait till they start mass producing. I caught some of them, like I know Mutalisk is over here, and Ghost is over here, and shit like that. So we'll keep tabs, looks like everybody's doing some expanding, and yes, is Miller Death, as the person that we do know, at least out of the eight people here, he did pick Mutalisk, you do want to be on at least three bases, he is actually going for four. That is pretty good for Mass Muta. Um, I'm hoping one of them on the south team picks Stalker, or Marine, either or, not bad. Well, we'll see, no idea. If anybody has any replay they'd like to see cast, feel free to send them to ascendination replays at gmail.com. It can be an arcade game like this on mono battles. It can be a 1v1, 2, 3, preferably not a 4 if you can help it. Um, any level will play. I cast bronze for GM. Got them all in my uh, database over here. And yeah, we have a lot of fun on this channel. I think we do. You guys would agree, right? So, yeah. So I'm in, I love getting new players. I always get excited. It's like a, a mini orgasm when I get new players. I'm like, ha ha, yay. That's not a really gay, I know. But at the same time, you know. So he could actually drop like two cannons over here and actually protect his natural. That'd be pretty good for Russell. We'll see if he does. Somebody's dropping pylons all over the place. That'd be Jono. Meanwhile, down here, we do have just anybody. Okay. I'm not keeping the production table because it's so large. Uh, so basically, as soon as we establish what everybody can build. Okay. So Teal can only build Marauders. So he can't build air. Can any, who on the, God, I can't tell what they can build. All right, he built three gateways, so it's gotta be a ground unit. Gateways, okay, so here's a stalker. I was gonna say, somebody has to have AA, otherwise Miller Death can just kill everyone. So, okay, the human blob is the hard counter to Miller Death. Oh, we got Marines. Okay, I've got a couple anti-air options then. Whoa. Crap, I don't know. I think he's Dark Templar. Then that means, yes, he would definitely have a problem right now. Anybody got anything that they can use? Uh, he's going Immortal. Ghost, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of like a 50-50 shot here if he's going to be able to get him on time. Meanwhile, Jono is in a whirl of hurt. He is trying everything he can not to die right now. In 
unfortunately not looking very good. There are a crap ton of stalkers in the face. Now here come Marines on top of that. Oh god. Oh man. Yeah, he he might have to evacuate here. I don't know if he's gonna be able to hold his base. This is one of those things about mono battles. When you have to can you only build one base or uh, one unit, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And Jono is like SOL completely right now. We got Lair Tech here, Familiar Death. Oh, moving into the next phase now. I think he can make Ghost. Okay, Ghost. We got Personal Cloaking done? Yes. So he can get this. Oh, he's got one out already. So very, very, very slowly but surely. Should be using Snipe. Plus 50 versus Psionic, which... Okay, they're not. But very slowly here, he is going to be able to pick off these Stalkers. But if he's smart over here, and I'm talking about the human block, he'll just keep pushing. This is a pretty good position to be in. Oh my goodness. Well, how are the units doing? Look at the per oh. production tab. Spire is going up. Black is in trouble. He does have cloaked ghosts. That's good. Russell Jimmy's. Well. Did not do nearly as much damage as I anticipated, so that's not good for them. South team's certainly looking pretty darn good right now. It's over. Nah, he's not too happy. Well, you gotta remember though, Miller Death has like four bases. We also have Jano on one and a half. Hey, Colossus won that battle. So I guess he picked Colossus. For some reason, I thought he picked Immortal. Obviously, that was somebody else. Uh, not gonna be able to say the CC. I'm watching the work for Tad here. Black still got 10. They're up here. So he's not out. But losing that armory is going to be painful. Three mutas on the way, not going to be enough at all. I'm sure he knows that. Marauders over here, we got... Man, what tech path? He's got like every freaking tech path, tech path going. You can only build one unit, which one is it? Now I don't even know. He's got a robotics bay, a stargate. Uh, he's working on gravimetric boosters, fleet beacon. Anybody wants to humor me on what the hell his unit is? I'm guessing DT by Dark Shrine, but we'll know as soon as you warp something in. Oh, there it is. It is officially DT, so why in God's name does he have a fleet beacon? I do not know. Stalker is just continuing to wreck face over here. Zero, zero upgrades, but I mean, when your opponent can only build one unit, why not actually should be focusing down the robotics base? But I guess if you take out the in uh, infrastructure here, keep in mind though that Pink does have a second base. Whoop, Muta! Muta gonna die. Oh my god, it lived with like 6 HP. Marauder's in here now. Marine's in here now. What do you do in mono battles other than die here? One robotics bay down. Miller. They are calling for Miller Death. Miller Death needs to spam some Muta Dizzle. He's got one Muta on the way. I have a feeling that is not going to be enough. Spire is at this base. He may want to make a second one. May want to get some more gas while he's at it too. But honestly, this looks like an all-south team. They have taken no damage. Black has left the game. That Muta will survive as well. This lair is going to go down. So the question is going to be, will he pop a lair or will he drop a spire before he loses that? And for some reason, I just have a feeling he's not. It's kind of unfortunate because now he cannot rebuild his spire. Uh, yeah, he hasn't made another lair. Spawning pool still alive, yes. And the spire technically is still alive. Use the larva. How many larva does... Uh, he have, actually, is a good question. 33 larva for Mother Christ. He can make 9 mutas right now. Oh, there they are. I think he just made them. 14 mutas on the way. Wait for the rest of your units. It's not even worth it. Uh, any upgrades? Probably not. Lost 2 mutas, 3 mutas, 4 mutas to like 7 marines. Oh my god, this is a massacre. Oh, this is just a straight-up massacre. I don't even know. Uh, we got three Immortals at a time coming. Green is alive, but remember, he's ground only. Now, he can rape those Marauders all day long. And the Stalkers. So he can actually wreck, like, all this. Teal, he's all the way down here. 
Uh, what's his unit? It is. Oh, he's a Marauder, dude. Okay. Stalker's cleaning up the rest of Pink. Remember, he does have a natural. He could try and rebuild if he so chooses. Uh, Miller Death has the most bases for the North team, but he's not doing much with them. We got some DTs, War Prisms. I'm not sure why we got four of them, but we do. Stalker's uh, pretty satisfied cleaning up, cleaning out Black. Uh, these Stalkers gonna go down. There they go. Clean up the Marauders. That's what you should be doing right now. But instead, he's flying around. There you go. Oh, he is gonna engage the Stalkers instead. Uh, I don't know if he wins this. Let's go to the units. 14 to 23, but I have a feeling a lot of those 23 are not here at this time. And he is going to clean this up. Nice job. Now I should pick off these Marauders. That should be a, like a straight up given. And the War Prisms. Splash damage actually hitting the DTs. I think. No, it doesn't look like it actually. And all the War Prisms have been cleaned out. Overseers would be a thing. Um... How many workers we got? Let's go to income here. Uh, zero for black, so he's just straight up completely dead. Uh, five for pink, he's pretty close to... Oh, Marines just wrecked his base. One probe left, there it goes, he's dead. So that is it. Is this pink? Well, if it was, it doesn't even matter now. So at best right now, it's a two on four. At best. And it is basically going to be mass immortal Muta. And we have a Marauder versus a Queen. I think the Queen wins this battle, ironically. And... Yep. Nice job there. Unfortunately, I don't think you win two battles. Um, come on, Miller. Pink apparently hasn't left the game even though... Oh, is he Pink? No, Pink is his ally. The one that's dead. There are tons of Stalkers in DTs. They are kind of looking at Miller like, hey guys, come on, man. I, I don't know. Let's see, Miller's got not a lot of money. Hasn't lost that Spire, apparently. He's going to lose it in about two minutes. A little engagement over here. Muta's doing some work. Doing some damage here to Mr. I can build tons of warp prisms. Oh, Photon Cannon. Clean that up. Stalkers and Marines run like hell. And, okay, he's keeping himself alive and he is distracting his opponents. That's, that's a plus. That is a plus. I mean, ironically, Paw here has not made any... an orbital command. Uh, dropped any uh, additional supply depots there. And Red has left the game. Oh my goodness, that's Starret. So we're now on a 2v3, and Mass Immortals from Jono. John, oh god, Stalkers versus Mass Immortal. GG there. Uh, this is going to die in a terribly horrible death. And indeed it does, and there goes all of that, because none of that can deal with this. GG, well played from the Human Blob. Uh, Marines cannot, Marines can shred this. The Marauders are going to get wrecked if they're focused down. Here come the mutants to assist, and they are cleaning up a lot of marines. The marauders are getting shredded by the immortals, which is definitely a good thing. I don't think there's enough mutants. Is he making any more? No, he's remaking Lair Tech. He lost that uh, spire. He can't build any units at the second, and there goes the immortal. Oh my god. Let's look at the resources lost. Uh, North team has lost a lot. It looks like about 27,000. South team has lost, oh, 20,000. So they have lost less. Guess we still got a game. Yep, it is a three on two at this point, people. Three on two. There's the Lairtech, Spire needs to go down, and he needs to be getting more gas up. He's got way too much minerals. He needs to be getting gas. These three, right here, right clicking for him, not happening. And over here, oh my god, this, okay, he needs to fill this one, two, three. Gas is like his biggest friend right now. Build Spire, yes, that would be an incredibly good idea. He is, he is doing so. Green's on one base, just spamming the Immortals here. No upgrades, but frankly, Immortals do a crap ton of damage, so it's not a huge thing. Um, like I said, Red left the game, it looks like they're not rebuilding any of his stuff. 
So DTs are not going to be a major factor from here on out. We do got the Marines, Marauders, and Stalkers. Basically, uh, Tier 1 units versus Tier 2 and Tier 2 units. So if they can get enough, I feel like the purple-green team can win, but it just depends how lax the South team gets. He has no money. The human blob is... I mean, he's spending money well, obviously. But... Also got a spawning pool going down. Where are we at on income again? Um, 496 gas, so obviously... And he's got the most workers. 43. Uh, 22 over here. For Jono. And then... 27 for blue. 24. And only 8 for pink. Not rebuilding his workers. Not mining gas. Which he needs... Which he needs if he wants to build stalkers. What is he doing? Okay, we're going to find his vision. Unfortunately, there's so many hotkeys. Okay, there it is. So this is him. What is he doing? Let's try and ascertain that. Blue's going for 2-2 bio upgrades here, so that's going to be pretty good against the mutas. Yeah, that guy. Is he blue? No, that's, this is pink. This is pink. It looks like pink's just working with blue in congruence with his base. Um, this is Teal. I'm not quite sure what he's looking at. Uh, there is Mr. Marine, who does not have combat shields yet, for the record. Oh, see, it shows your team up here in the upper right-hand corner, guys. Stalker, as we said. DT, who has left the game. Marauder and Marine. Let's go back to the other side. So, we got the Immortal Muta left. Colossus Ghost is dead. APMs? Uh, let's go to that. It's going to be, well, nobody's over 100. Miller Death closest at 94. Uh, let's check the units here. Miller Death, 13 mutas, 25 larva. Sweet mother of larva. All right. He just doesn't have the gas, like I said. Right, okay, he did pick up that gas. Good job. Did not pick up that one. Should have. It needs to, badly. These mutas are not enough. He does not have any upgrades for them. He could, this base is mined out, so honestly it doesn't even matter. Teal actually picked up this base all the way up here. A nice job by him there. Um, a couple of Marauders just kind of hanging out. Immortal Hit Squad. I don't think, okay, let's go back over here for a second. They, okay, they have no air units, so they're going to have to deal with the Immortals on the ground. They don't have a choice. That's the way it's going to be. And it looks like he is, does he know something we don't? No, he's just hanging out right here. I was thinking he was going to go straight up here and just wreck that base. Hmm. And the mutas are engaging over here. Oh, that's just Marauders. Marauders, what are you doing? No. Oh, goodness. And he is going to back out. Can he get the command center? That's what he's trying to do. Nope, he's going to bail out. It's not even burning down. Mutas survive, though, and that is a key fact. Key fact. Alive mutas. Immortals still alive over here, and there's plenty of them. Uh, marauders should avoid this at all costs, along with Stalkers. Uh, that's enough mutas to take care of these Stalkers. This base is going to be forced to cancel by the human blob. There it goes. And where are the Immortals? Immortals are over here checking for bases. Ironically, just going right there with these Stalkers. Go south, go south, go south. And they can take a planetary. I don't care how, how much you repair. That is way too many Immortals. You cannot repair that. And it's gone. Attack, 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 attack. And shredded some SCVs. Oh my god. How many does he have left? Blue's down to 13. Oh my goodness. Could this be a 2v3 comeback? No, the Marauders have made it over to the Muta base. But they cannot shoot in the air. Needs to really get plus... Oh, he did get plus one. Kudos to you, Miller Death. Kudos. And there go the Marauders. I swear I heard a DT, and he does have Overseer, so he did kill that. All right, backing up again. Where are those Immortals? They're chilling out over here. Uh, are they going to move in? Where are the Marines? That's kind of important. Where the hell? Okay, units. Marines, 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 Marines. 88 Marines somewhere. They're over here. Whoa, buddy. Uh, what are they, 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, 2-2 two -two versus one zero. -oh. Not a huge fan, but at the same time, he's going to have to use the mutas to kill that. Unless the Immortals just go on a massive killing spree. Attack, just straight up attack everything, dude. Straight up. The, the Marines are coming back, but not before massive damage is going to occur. Uh, and Sub-Zero is losing his infrastructure very quickly. 
Should have got the cyber core there by Miller Death since uh, all I can build is stalkers, but holy call sack. This base is gone. Oh my god, I would not want to be in this base. He is trying to evacuate. There are a couple DTs. Some Marines are going to go down. There's a GG from Sub Zero. And basically, Sub Zero's base is gone. He's got a lot of Marines. The Mutas are helping out now. Oh boy. Could this be enough? Oh, he bailed out. I don't know why he bailed out, but he, you know what? The Immortals still holding the line here. And the Immortals holding the DTs are the major factor at this point. And all of the structure is just getting completely wrecked. Yes, DTs are a thing. There go the Marines. How many Marines we got left? Um, blue, blue, blue. None. 88 Marines were killed in that engagement. Resources lost just high all over the place. I'm not even going to add that. GG, there goes Zub Zero. It is a 2v2 now. Now keep in mind, we do have Paul with uh, at least four bases. Uh, his unit is Marauder, which is not going to help him against these Mutas. And the Immortal is going to be able to shred that as well. Cleaning up red just in case somebody decided to utilize his base. It will be gone. Meanwhile, like I said, we do have Paw up here with multiple bases, just like we have Miller Death down here with multiple bases. So this game is not over. We do have an engagement over here, well, not really an engagement. And that is actually going to be the game. The South team has left, and Miller Death and Jono are going to be victorious. Can't really give it to the other two guys since they left, but these two guys earned it. It was a three on two, two on three technically, and they made it work. Muta Immortal, not too shabby. So good Mono Battles game. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as usual, catch you guys later. Peace out.